welcome back to another video so today i'm going to be doing an ice cream set super duper excited for this set it looks gorgeous so yes we're gonna get started i'm literally just wiping over my tips i've buffed them ready to go i'll just oh no i just spilled my mojito everywhere oh it's very cold is Christ. So uh, these first two I'm going to start off by giving them both um, a coat of OMG pink. So that's what it's called. So I'm going to do one nail with one coat and the other nail with two coats because I'm going to sugar one nail with some gorgeous glitter. It's absolutely stunning, isn't it? Look at that. It's just beautiful. Honest God, it's stunning. Oh God, I've got my heel all over me. <laughs> I've got my heel all over me and it's cold and wet. Oh, this is Thursday night. I've just recorded this video and now I am just losing over it. So now what I'm doing is once I've cured that in the lamp, I'm going in with top coat and before i cure it i'm gonna sprinkle on some very fine neon pink glitter um i only do one coat of color because it's getting comfortable glitter so you know the color's just there in case there's any gaps um and what i like to do when i'm sugaring is I like to just hold on a second and just make sure the top coat is absorbing the glare. So as you can see, like I'll stop a minute, take a look, and then I'll think mm, there's not much there, I need more there. Yeah. So if I'm happy with that, I'll cure it for 60 seconds. So this is a double cure. Just to make sure it's fully, you know, it's fully cured, lights penetrating through that glitter, basically. This one's had two coats, and I'm just gonna give that a non-white top coat because this pink is just gorgeous and I want to keep it nice and shiny yeah so I'll pop that in the lamp and then we'll move on to the nails so these two are going to be done in pivot these were on Madame Glam colours by the way Um, obviously <laughs> Madam Glam are obsessed over here. So yeah. This is pivot and I'm gonna do two coats of this on both the nails. So you'll only see me doing one nail because both of these nails are the same. There's no point in me showing doing both. So I'm gonna mat top coat this once I'm done. Cure that for 30 seconds in the lamp. Don't know what I'm doing yeah. There we go. <laughs> there we are on my oh I just love Madame Glam's matte top coat, it's just beautiful. I love it, I really do. So now I'm gonna do the ice cream. Sorry guys, I had to stop there because my little girl woke up. Um yeah, so we're gonna do the ice cream. So I'm gonna do a dot and then kind of just pull it up um so you know you can kind of make the dots as big as you want by loading your dotting tool up and then pressing harder or lighter um or using different size dotting tools but i just use the one i need to get more um so yeah i'm literally just doing four dots randomly and then as i'm pulling it up i'm just easing my pressure of the dotting tool yeah so four random dots pull it up and then i'm going to grab a long liner brush and this is my emmy's favorite brush which is just best liner brush you can get honest amazing you need it and i'm literally just going to do my line to the top so i know where the drip's coming from if I start going in with my arches, 
without doing the lines. Yeah, I ain't gonna have a colour on my eyes, that's serious. Um, but yeah. So let's go and react to this one. No. No, let's go. <laughs> We're gonna do my arches. That's what I'm calling them, arches. Um, and yeah, so when you're doing this, you're literally just following the line up that you've already drawn. But giving it a curve, like, any way you want as line goes down. You know, there's really no, um, yeah, there's no rule to say, oh, you need to have it all straight, or you need to have it this high, or this low, um, you can literally just do your arches anywhere. Yeah. So I'm just faffing, as you can see. This one went really wrong. But it's okay because I do sort it out. As you can see, it's looking a bit better. Not perfect, but better. But this is the beauty of sets like this. They do not need to be perfect. Like, I mean, how perfect is a melting ice cream, really? <laughs> you know, definitely not perfect. So, you really don't need to worry. And then once I'm happy with the way my arches are, I'm going to fill in the rest. Um... You know, ideally I would go in with just a brush, but I have dead loads already on my palette, so I thought oh, I'll just just do what use what's on my palette. You don't want to waste it, do you? Cause a pretty penny done it. That's a serious gel polish costs a pretty bloody penny. No wastage. Oh, I love a mojito. Oh, mojitos have to be my favourite cocktail. I think. Mm, yeah. Um. Yeah. So here we are. I'm just faffing around. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm so sorry that I've not posted in a while. I know it's been just over a week. Um. I've had a lot of change going on recently um and also my daughter's been poorly as well with chicken box so um it's been it's been a hectic week to be honest <laughs> luckily she's getting much better now though um my spots are just starting to scab over so it's brilliant can finally start taking her out now beginning of the holidays that's fab. Mm, I love it. I do love this set. It's so pretty. Look at it. Already. Yeah, this is my third mojito as well, so I really don't know how this voiceover is gonna turn out. <laughs> uh but either way, I'm probably not gonna watch it back. So, <laughs> we're just going to post. So now I'm going to do sparkles and I'm going to get a very fine liner and I'm going to literally just uh, get a, like a bead of colour on my brush and literally just swipe. Swipe. You know you can't see? There we go. And then we're going to swipe. And as you can see on the palette there, I've got few different colours, so I've got blue, white, red, yellow and like the um, orangey pink, these are all Madame Glam colours, so this one's vitamin C, and then the yellow is, yeah the yellow is um, fries before guys, the red is true, a fire brick, red, something like that. The um, white is perfect white and 
Is that it? Uh, yep. But obviously the white is OMG pink. Uh, the, not the white, the bright pink is OMG pink. <coughs> um, yeah. And you know what, right, looking back at this set now, the other thing I would have done differently is if I wasn't being as lazy, I would have done the, you know, the waffle effect on the um, pivot colour. So in the background colour there, you know, you get like your combs and they've got, well, the pattern, the waffle pattern. Like, I wish I'd have done that, but, you know, the sets that I'd seen on Pinterest, I was just like, they, none of them have that. And I thought, mm, can I really be bothered to include that fast? And honestly, yeah, you should be bothered. Like, I, it's silly, isn't it? Thinking, mm, I can't really be bothered doing that, so I'm not going to. It literally would have took me five minutes longer to do. <clears throat> um, but I decided not to because I am lazy. <laughs> but on a client. I would definitely have done that because it would have made the difference as well. So, yes. And I would have done that in Hyam Chandler, which is like a dark chocolate brown colour. Um, Madame Glam, obviously, once again. One day I'll surprise you all and use different nail polishes. <laughs> nail polishes, gel polishes, should I say. I'm sorry if you can hear that snoring in the background. Um, I've just got a new baby puppy. Ooh, well, I say baby puppy. <clears throat> He's 13 weeks old, but he is my hoofed. I'm so good. He's so big. Um, but yeah, so that's the snoring you can hear. If you can hear that in the background. <clears throat> and if you can hear any cars as well. It's because I've got the door open for him. And he just, oh god, he loves sleeping near the door, just sitting and watching. I hate the door being open because it's an invitation for baby Carlos to come in, but he's my baby boy, and my baby boy gets what he wants. <laughs> right, so once I've done that, I'm going to just top coat um, just the, the ice cream area in non-white top coat because... I, I want to keep the comb matte and I think yeah I think anything that I love the contrast between matte and shiny <clears throat> I'm not a huge fan of matte anymore but when it comes to matte and shiny I love so yeah anyway and then last nail we're going to do in perfect pink and I'm going to do two coats of this I've sped it up because You've, you've, what I'm doing now, you've just watched me do anyway, so I'm literally just going to do sprinkles all over the nail Sprinkles here, sprinkles there, sprinkles everywhere um, Yeah, I ummed, ummed and ahed about this set being completely matte Not this set, sorry, this nail being completely matte But then decided against it and did it shiny because if it ice cream is shiny isn't it so it had to be shiny shiny just had to be um yeah and i was really happy with how the set turned out like i love it i do i really like it you know, I'm happy with everything really. But yeah, like I said, if we were to do one thing different and not be super lazy because I mean sometimes that five minute difference, spending five minutes extra just adding a little extra detail makes a hell of a lot of a difference in the set and not only in the set but to everyone else. So yeah, this is Three mojitos in me telling normal me to spend the five minutes and just put that extra detail in there because it's worth it. Hundred percent. Anyway, back at it. 
I'll sprinkle here, sprinkle that. Obviously, like these sprinkles, you're literally just going to do them in any direction. So, as you can see, I've got some, some like going straight down. I've got them on an angle. I've got them just like across. You know, there's just really no no rules on sprinkles. So, yeah. <laughs> you can have the sprinkles however you like. And it's sort of right, these colours look terrible right here, right now, like that. But look at this now, like, oh, so beautiful. Well, there it is completed. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.